every decision you've ever made might not have been yours. And this one experiment will change the way you think about free will forever. Welcome back to Mind Snacks, where small ideas feed big thoughts. Bon appétit! It's 1983. Neuroscientist Benjamin Libet is about to flip the world's view of free will. For centuries, philosophers argued that we initiate our own actions and that choice begins with conscious intention. Libé wants to test that idea, so he designs a simple experiment. Volunteers sit down, stare at a ticking clock, and press a button whenever they feel like it. Their only task is to report the exact position on the clock corresponding to when they first felt the urge to press. Meanwhile, Libé is recording their brain's electrical activity, and what he discovers is mind-blowing. The brain starts preparing for movement, what scientists called readiness potential up to 550 milliseconds before the finger moves. But participants only feel the urge about 200 milliseconds before. That means the brain launches the action roughly 350 milliseconds before you're even aware you made a choice. Fast forward two decades. In 2008, scientists used fMRI to take Libet's idea even further. Participants once again had to press a left or right button, but this time, researchers watched their brain activity in real time. Patterns in the prefrontal and parietal cortex could predict which button a person would press up to 7 seconds before the person became consciously aware of their decision. So if biology sets the limits, should we just surrender to determinism? Well, not so fast. People's memories of when they decided are not perfect, and those brain signals can be noisy. And here's where it gets interesting. Recent experiments show that even after your brain starts prepping to move, you can still veto the action at the last second. Instead of free will, it's called free wants. So maybe you're not the author of the script, but you still hold the editor's pen. 